In tonight's top story, a day after Fort Hood officially confirmed Vanessa Guillen's death, her family's attorney says they're doing their own investigation. Six News reporter Cole Johnson explains why they feel that's necessary, who's helping them, and what's next for a bill in Vanessa's name that would protect military victims of sexual harassment or assault. Vanessa Guillen, her name is nationally recognized after her disappearance and later death covered headlines. But after a press conference on Fort Hood Monday where no questions were taken, the pursuit for answers on what led up to Vanessa's death continues. They're having a respect for the family, they would have answered the family's questions the whole entire time. Not put the family in the dark and the media in the dark and the people in the dark. Natalie Kawam is the attorney for Vanessa Guillen's family. She says her firm is doing its own independent investigation. It's kind of like if you lost your brother or sister or child, you know, you want to know what's going on. Why did this happen? Who was part of this? Because every person on that base right now is not safe. She says they're gathering facts, speaking with people who may have seen, heard, or know something. They're even using Tim Miller with Texas EquiSearch, working together to gather information for Kawam's investigation. I'm getting phone calls from so many people saying, hey, I can help out, I can volunteer my time, or hey, I used to work at that, at that base, and this is where they breached the protocol. Kawam says she's gotten calls from many people volunteering to help gather information. You know, just who can help out, because sometimes it's best to have somebody who is on the ground help support, you know, this information and find some information. Kawam also briefed Six News on the bill in Vanessa's name to protect military victims of sexual harassment and assault. I should have this bill um, ready next week. She says she knows who will be proposing the bill, but would not provide us with a name. On July 30th, there will be what she calls a congressional press conference in Washington, D.C., where all congressional members will be invited with a rally afterwards. We're definitely very excited about the next steps with this 